Good morning everybody, it's an absolutely beautiful day here in St. Petersburg in Russia and today in this video I'm going to be showing you exactly how things are in this country at the moment and behind me we have the Galleria Shopping Center so this is one of the biggest shopping centers in St. Petersburg and probably the most beautiful so let's go and have a look inside so everybody, we're outside Uniqlo now, and yesterday I came here and there's huge queues outside. So maybe yesterday was the last day of Uniqlo in Russia. Or maybe they're just opening later, I have no idea. Check this out everybody, it's Victoria's Secret. Oh, it says here, very sexy. So, Victoria's Secret has closed down. So, her secret's gonna remain. And here we have Zara. Now I believe this is uh, one of the first Western businesses to close. Of MAC Cosmetics. So the women now in St. Petersburg, they're going to have a much more natural look. Or maybe they'll get uglier. You decide. But we've got two massive uh, beauty stores here. Riv Gosh and Zloty Yablaka. So yeah, I was in this Zolota Yablaka shop the other day and I wanted to buy some product for my hair. And I looked on the shelf and it was one price and when I got to the cashier it was double. So I went, uh, I told them and I showed them the price on the shelf and they just pulled off the price tickets and said, no, nope, sorry. So yeah, um, imported products at the moment are shooting up in price. This is interesting, look, Tommy Hilfiger, it's open. You would have thought they'd be one of the first businesses to close. Now behind me we have Lacoste, so Lacoste is obviously a French business and the French are a bit more based when it comes to Russia, so they don't seem to care about sanctions and whatnot. So at the end of the day, all these businesses, they don't actually want to pull out of Russia, but they're being forced to. Here we go, Levi's have closed down, so if there's any Americans coming to Russia, you better pick up your Levi's before you come to the country. Here we have the Mavi store. This is a Turkish brand and they obviously don't care about sanctions. Now they're playing wonderful music in this shopping center today. Uh, a lot of Beatles and stuff like that, but uh, I'm trying not to pick it up with a camera because uh, then my uh, videos won't be monetized. So everybody, it might be very difficult to pick yourself up a pair of trainers in Russia soon. Adidas have pulled out, Reebok have pulled out, so maybe it only be fakes in future, like uh, Abidas. So you're probably looking around thinking uh, how quiet it is in the shopping center, but I came here yesterday and it's absolutely packed. So yeah, people are not too nervous at the moment about spending their money, or maybe they just see their money, their rubles dropping in value and they think, you know what, I'm just gonna spend it. This is also very interesting, look, the Nike, shop is open and again you would have thought Nike would be one of the first companies to close in Russia. Over there you have Puma. They decided to close down. New Balance over there, open for business. They'll take anybody's money. So the Western oligarchs are not happy about uh, all these businesses closing down on, in Russia, but they're under immense pressure. Okay, everybody, I wanted to talk a bit about H&M uh, behind me. Now, they absolutely don't want to do business in Russia, but they're absolutely okay with using child labor in sweatshops in China. And here we have Starbucks. As you can see, it's closed down. It wasn't very good coffee anyway, and again, using slave labor from around the world in Africa, and other places, so goodbye and good riddance. Maybe we'll see you again, maybe not. All right, boys and girls, I'm going to go upstairs now and see what it's looking like in the food courts. Now, in the media, you might have been hearing about how Burger King wants to close in Russia, but they can't. Uh, apparently, they're stuck in some tricky contacts uh, with their local business partners that they can't get out of. So we can see here, Burger King is well and truly open. Yeah. 
but McDonald's have closed. So yeah, this is again one of the first businesses to close in Russia. They were one of the first to come under intense pressure. But if you're more of a KFC person than a McDonald's person, then you're in luck in Russia because it's still open. They haven't talked about that in the Western media. Nobody's talked about KFC being open. Yes, yes, right. yes, yes. yes. How, yes. how are you doing, yes. my friend? Do you speak English? Uh, a lot, a lot. A little bit, okay. okay. I was uh, talking about which businesses have closed in Russia. Like, because everybody in the West, they said there's no McDonald's, no KFC, no Burger King, but we can see we have Burger King and KFC. <laughs> yes, it, 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 that's all. Uh, business of Russian is very, very uh, strong. Strong. And uh, yes. So, how are you feeling at the moment? Uh, because I came to this shopping center yesterday. There's many, many people, very busy. Everything's normal. Mm, yes, it's, it's, it's not normal. Uh, many people uh, don't think about future. Uh, they're not thinking about future. Yes. Maybe and they see their rubles going down and they think, oh, I just spend it. Why not? Yes, yeah. uh, spent uh, spent uh, money because soon maybe it will be worth less. Yes, you know? yeah. less and uh, Russia is default. Yeah, default. Yeah. Default, yeah. default and uh, uh, many people uh, uh, buy cheapest uh, cheapest products. Yeah, cheapest products uh, yeah. for a life. Yeah, and, uh, uh, paper, practical toilet things, paper. toilet paper, uh, tins of food. Yes, yes. And yeah, just uh, essentials, necessities. Are you from? I'm English, Serbian, English mix. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay. Anyway, it's good to meet you. My name is Sasha. Sasha. Yeah, your name? Alex. Oh, yeah, Alex. The... Uh, Victor. Victor. Oh, Have a good day. <laughs> now, everybody, we're going up to the next floor of the food court, and uh, I don't think there's any Western uh, brands up here, but it's a magnificent food court, and I'm coming up here almost every day. So I really wanted to show you when it's quiet, because yesterday was absolutely manic in here. So here we go, Eat Market. Got some bar here. Papa Power. So I ate here in this place, Urumchi. I think it's a Mongolian restaurant. Got every kind of food you could possibly wish for in this place. Asian food here, hummus. Here we have a salad bar. Belgian waffles, burgers, meat, more Asian food over here. It's worth mentioning that there's a big kind of uh, Central Asian population in St. Petersburg, so uh, that's why you see so many uh, Central Asian food places. Oh wow, look at that, Japanese street food. Pasta and pizza here. So spaghetti spaghetti bolognese there for 520 rubles. And here we have Grand Raw, which I presume is raw seafood. So if you fancy a sea urchin for lunch, this is the place to come. Oysters, very nice. Now, I think I mentioned in one of my previous videos that there's a lot of Serbian food in Russia, which is good. So this place I'm coming to regularly. Got Plieskovica there, Chivapi, Bilici, Batak, everything. Hot dogs, oh my dog. American star food. more Italian food down here. So everybody, that was the food court. So uh, if you come to St. Petersburg, then at some point you'll definitely 
come to this shopping centre and I highly, highly recommend you come to the top floor to this food court. So um, let's go and have a look around a bit more on uh, other levels. Check it out everybody, the North Face store is open as well. Oh, and this is the same jacket that Bolden Bankrupt has got. He's such a gopnik, Bolden Bankrupt. And the only reason he bought this jacket is because he doesn't have very many muscles and he wants to make himself look bigger. <laughs> So here we are, Jack Wolfskin, obviously don't give a damn about sanctions. Nein, we will not pull out of Russia! Was that a good German accent? So here we have Stradivarius, and there, Bershka, and there, Pull and Bear, and all three of them are closed down. Now I know these stores are very popular in Russia, so there'll be a lot of people upset. Again, we have another French store here that don't care. Oh, I tell you what, I'm glad to get down from the higher levels in this shopping centre. I might have told you that I'm a bit scared of heights. Maybe because I'm so tall. So yeah, that's about it from this shopping centre. Um, just to summarise, there's a lot of shops that are closed down, but there's some that we in the West thought had closed down in Russia, but haven't. So we've got KFC, Burger King, Subway, Tommy Hilfiger, Nike. So let's get outside into the beautiful sun and I'll talk to you a bit more about uh, other restrictions in the country at the moment. So guys, I wanted to talk a bit about uh, mucky cars in St. Petersburg. So what happens is you get a lot of snow that builds up in winter on the streets and when that melts, it dries out and turns to dust and it's thrown around all over St. Petersburg. That's why we saw that vehicle, street cleaning vehicle earlier. All right, everybody. So I've come to a slightly quieter part of St. Petersburg to tell you more about the restrictions in Russia at the moment. So uh, yeah, you've probably heard that there's no Visa or MasterCard in Russia and that's not fake news, that's true. But well, partly true, uh, foreign issued Visa and MasterCards don't work, but uh, Visa and MasterCards issued within Russia work perfectly. So, um, yeah, most people in Russia are still paying with their cards. Now, I haven't actually tried using my Visa and MasterCards in Russia because I don't want it uh, to set off any red flags with my bank. But uh, as far as I've heard, then I can be almost 100% sure that they're not working here. Now, talking about some uh, other restrictions in Russia at the moment, uh, I believe that there's a limit to how many, how much money, local money, Russians can uh, convert into foreign exchange. So I believe until about September of this year, the maximum they can change is something like $10,000. I'm not exactly sure of the amount. So uh, yeah, there's a lot of people here quite uh, desperate for euros and dollars especially. Uh, and also in Russia, you have to change money through an authorized exchange office or a bank. Uh, otherwise, it's illegal. So obviously, this is causing problems for uh, the local Russian people because uh, they're seeing the value of their ruble going down against other uh, currencies. And they're also seeing the prices in the shops going up, especially on imported products. So yeah, uh, people are clambering to get their hands on foreign exchange here in Russia, or some people are investing in gold, uh, or other people are just spending their money in the shops before it's worth nothing. So although things are not too bad at the moment, um, unfortunately it seems it's gonna get worse and worse, and uh, the ruble will probably continue to depreciate. So if you're coming to Russia anytime soon, I advise you to bring euros or dollars because the banks that I've been to so far, they're either changing euros and dollars or just dollars, no euros at all. So any other um, currencies that you're bringing into the country, you might find it uh, difficult to get rid of. And as I mentioned before, uh, um, changing money in places that are not official is technically illegal so uh, be advised about that now with regard to other restrictions in russia at the moment um, shortages uh, i haven't been to any supermarkets since i've been in st petersburg yet but i've heard uh, that there's limits to buying staple goods so i think it's something like one bag of sugar per customer 
maybe one kilogram of Gretschka or something like that uh, because there's people taking advantage of the situation and uh, buying up a lot of uh, products in bulk with the hope of reselling them at a higher price sometime in the future. Also one reason uh, people might be buying sugar is to make homemade alcohol. Samagon is a, a popular homemade booze. So the locals really don't like it when you use cash in Russia. Uh, so I go into the shop and I hand over the cash and they look at it like it's some used toilet paper or something like that because almost everybody pays with their cards and as I mentioned before you can still use Visa and MasterCard uh, if you're a Russian. So it's very difficult to get, uh, get changed, say you're paying for something you know that's 320 rubles and you've got a 500 note, they'll ask you, do you have 20 rubles as well, so they can give you an even 200. Okay, everybody, I'm gonna uh, take a break and go off topic a little bit, because I wanna show you what is arguably one of the most beautiful views in the world, okay? So are you ready? One, two, three. Look at that. Absolutely stunning. Springtime's coming to St. Petersburg. Not so long ago, this was all completely frozen. Amazingly beautiful. I would not dare to walk on this ice. I mean, it's probably okay here thick enough, but uh, I'm not going to test it. Now, before I talk about more restrictions in Russia, I just want to show you one more amazing view, okay? So, you ready? One, two, three. Here we are in Palace Square. Picture postcard day, got the hermitage there. So, yeah, I um, want to talk about uh, website blocks in Russia. So, uh, some of the main ones that I can think about is uh, Airbnb. Now, Airbnb is an important one for travelers these days, especially if you're looking for long-term accommodation for a month or something like that. And the next uh, website that's not working in Russia is Booking.com. So this is more for nightly stays when you're traveling rather than long term. That's blocked as well. And then we have the uh, social media blocks that uh, have been uh, blocked in China for years. Those are Facebook, Instagram and Twitter. So those are the main ones I can think of. Undoubtedly, there are other ones as well. Wait, right. put your hands where I can see them. <laughs> so everybody we're coming to the end of this video but uh, you need to make sure you stay tuned for future videos because the situation here is always changing and uh, if you want the latest information I'm here to give it to you famous uh, very famous uh, uh, Beatles yesterday uh, yesterday, yesterday uh, all, all my troubles seem so far away, away. now it looks like they are here uh, you're in trouble Прыгни по хорошему. Да. Да. А то будет как вчера. Слушай. Спрыгни, сказала. 